What's up everybody? Uh, just want to make a video about how to load a dishwasher. Apparently uh, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, I'd like to preface this by saying neither I or Monica or anybody that's our family loaded the dishwasher today. Somebody who comes and helps at the house did. Um, when we came back, this is what we found is the dishwasher is a jumbled up mess. So a dishwasher works by having water squirt from the middle and go in a circular pattern from that little device at the bottom. So if you block off other pieces or other dishes, they're not gonna get washed. They're not gonna get any water in them. So for example, um, if you look at some of these bottles, some of these plates, no water is gonna reach them and they're just gonna stay dirty. Like that one right there is probably gonna stay dirty there. And then of course your glasses are arranged really weird. So I don't know, it's a pet peeve of mine. That's why I'm making this video. So let me rearrange this real quick for you, okay? This is how you arrange the top rack of a dishwasher. Not too hard. Just put your tall glasses all on one side. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little tougher today, but you also see how to get your baby bottles to be washed appropriately. And guys, if you're seeing this video, you have no excuses about not knowing how to load the dishwasher. It's actually really easy especially uh, you can get some credit for doing that. Some things are not dishwasher friendly, like this is not dishwasher friendly. It should not be in there, so take that out. Um, I put short stack mugs and cups on one side and tall ones because this little flap can hold more utensils for you. Now this flap that's down because those are shorter, you can put in some extra utensils up here and you might need that space later. Um, bibs, I'm gonna take these out for now. And let's put these baby cups right here. Almost done, not bad. This I believe is also hand wash only. There we go. Wait for it, wait for it, almost there. All right, now these things can turn to their sides during the cycle and water sprays from this little thing here. So again, if they're blocked or something is like wedged in that doesn't allow this to spin, then other things in other areas won't get any water. You need to have this thing free spinning at the bottom. What I like to do is just put this in one little stick so they stay upright and water can drain out appropriately. When you have caps like this, open the cap. Put that through there. If you have a Contigo uh, coffee cup, you gotta flip this little bad boy over so it can get some water in it too. Um, this one you can put like that. And there you go. Much more organized. Now today we didn't feed the babies with uh, bowls, um, so those bowls don't need to go in. But usually we'll just line up bowls one by one here, the small little little bowls that you use for like baby food or doll or whatever. So let's put some other tall ones here, and let's get to the bottom. All right, so this is a hot mess. Take your water bottles out. You can put those in last, and you can wash those by hand. They're really not that bad to do. Uh, so let's do this stuff in a row first. The more organized it is, the cleaner your dishes, so then you're not having gunky dishes when guests come over. See these little, you create space in there so water can get in and it can dry better. You don't want to have them all in one slot. I feel like they should teach some of this stuff in like high school, so you just don't know how to do things other than just go to work. But that's okay. Luckily, most people I know know how to load it, but I know some people don't. All right, and like this lid is like random down here. You can go back to the top, so put it up at the top. Uh, small little uh, pans like that can go like this. Okay, same thing here. None of these guys are gonna get clean because no water is reaching them. So put them in the top rack. Now you got a little bit of a problem because you don't have much space here. So we're gonna turn these guys a little to the side. Put that here. And I have no idea if I'm actually getting a lot of this on video but I think I am. So this is not gonna block the spinny thing at the bottom, the water jet. It should still be able to spin, but if you have something like that, guess what? It's not gonna move. It's not gonna wash anything, it blocks. And plus it can fall through because there's a heated coil at the bottom that can melt any plastic in there. Sometimes if you get a burning smell in your dishwasher after you're done, that's because there's plastic burning in there. All right, let's go back to the bottom. <clears throat> All right, so these aren't too bad. Now they're separated. There's water they can get around them. Um, you don't need to worry about that. These are too big to fit in here, so we'll leave it in the open compartment. And we'll put these over here. See little loose stuff like those baby pieces, uh, baby bottle pieces? They can 
gets stuck on that metal coil. This metal coil gets super hot. If plastic gets on that, it will melt and look like, like molten cheese. I don't know how else to describe it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to lock these guys down so that they don't get bad. I'm actually gonna take these out. All right, let's get those water bottles back in. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. And those are dishwasher safe. Uh, and now we have this one left, so we're gonna adjust here. Move this at a slighter, more angle. Put this guy in right there so water can get in through here. And we're gonna put this lid right in there so it's in. And everyone has space for water to go in and out. Wonderful. Now these two guys, kind of random. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is put these at the top and see if they fit anywhere. So if you have other things that can fit through here, this one's gonna fall straight through, so we have to put it down there. <clears throat> but this smaller one, the wooden handle, should be able to fit in one of these guys. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, and some stuff won't work out. So then you'll put it at the bottom. Okay. So let's put these over here. And these are kind of heavy. They won't float around. So they would fine. And that kind of wood doesn't float either. Okay. So what do you do with this? Put these little sticks through here. And try to close this thing. So they pass through. There's a little latch. That's it. Done. Okay. So now everything will get washed. Um, I got a couple more things to put in there. But now you know how to load a dishwasher. Um, yeah, it's a seven minute video unloading a dishwasher. It doesn't seem like it's important, but it's really annoying when you get to your cabinets and you're like having a party and people are over and then you give them plates with doll crust still stuck on it. So uh, yeah, it's easy now. You have no excuses. You know what to do. All right, thanks.